Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist with an evil, evil Chinese stolen toy review of one of the two Decepticon scouts from the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Lion coming next year. This is, to some people, Laserbeak, to some people, Detour, and to some people, Dead End. But thanks to my incredible, awesome inside sources... I've discovered that his true name is actually a mixture of all of those. People were just reading parts of the real name and not, you know, reading the rest and just kind of filling in the rest as they went along, obviously. Uh, his real name is DeLazer Bendor. Uh, DeLazer Bendor turns into a pretty little red car. Uh, it's kind of like a bullet car, kind of concepty. Um, some people thought it was actually from Animated when they saw this vehicle mode. I really like the hubcaps. They're badass, along with the flame deco and stuff. And one really cool thing about this car is he has, by virtue of his transformation, a working trunk. A little hard to move this part up, it's the hardest bit of the transformation. But there you go, it's uh, apparently an accurate representation of the storage space in a sports car. Um, the rest of the transformation is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, my only real problem with this guy is that... His transformation is one of those ones where you got to do things sort of in the right order, otherwise parts will crash into parts. Like, you can't open these bits up until the trunk is out of the way. And there's also an automorph that really needs all this stuff to be out of the way, or more parts will crash into parts. So a little bit of a knock against him there, although it is a really neat automorph. Um, you just kind of fold all this stuff up, and the back folds up and deploys the head as the chest folds forward. And uh, his head is kind of interesting. It can... It can be kind of crouched in here like this, or it can look up like that, but that's all it can do, unfortunately. Really cool sculpt, though. And uh, the legs are kind of reminiscent of uh, Ransack from the Cybertron line. Only they've got a really wacko kind of automorphy thing going on of their own. Um, you lift those parts up, and uh, they kind of form movie-style metal flaps over these parts. And then the, uh, the feet are totally Ransack's feet. Now, the only real problem with this is nothing down here really locks into place. It all moves around on its own, all of these parts move around on their own, there's a lot of moving parts that don't really click into place, and that can be annoying for some folks. Uh, similarly, up here on the shoulders, these parts don't really click into place. Now, at the same time, I'm bringing these up, right? But this stuff doesn't really, see, it doesn't waggle around. None of this stuff waggles around when you shake the toy, so it's still pretty tight. It's just, uh, it shuffles. It's the best way I can put it. Also, he's got really nice ball-jointed wrists here, which is a, a nice touch, considering he's got no waist or uh, head swivel. Um, now, this guy standing on his own is extremely unique. Uh, he's one of those guys who, whose sculpt is loaded with character. And uh, it's for better or for worse, because if you like the sculpt, then this is awesome. If you don't like the sculpt, you're kind of left out in the cold, because this sculpt really just embraces everything about itself. Um, also, I would say one, of, one main problem I have with them is that lack of a nicer head joint. I would have preferred seeing a, a ball up here somehow, because you can, you can get him to good poses. But he's he's just kind of left out, out in the cold up here, because he's only able to really look up. Now, he does have great hands for monstrous kind of, or, you know, creepy kind of poses where he's skulking around and, and hunched over. And that's really the, the aesthetic I got from him. He's, he doesn't look like the kind of guy who's uh, very often standing tall. Um, now, the, the, the laser beak thing, I can actually see where that's coming from, because if you look at his head sculpt, it's extremely avian. Um... It's surprisingly avian. It looks kind of like Air Razor, too. Uh, I tried doing a bit of a crossover, but um, you know how these toys get when you put them on camera. Laser Beak Detour Esquire S. Preston Dead End Esquire! Woo! They do make a nice pair, I gotta admit. Um, other neat details about this guy would be uh, how his wheels here have detailing on the other side, which kind of gives him a, a jetpack look, um, which I do kind of like. And also, um, when you raise his head, this is something that's a little bit odd, and I haven't quite figured it out yet. This is either his whole head moving up and down, or as you can see, he ha has kind of teeth down there. So maybe he does just have a very low set face, behind, or you know, he wears his engine like a, a face guard, and then he's going like, ah ha ha ha! I'm not laser beak. I'm gonna eat your babies. Da. Um. 
Anyway, I, I think that would be cool, actually, if that was his mouth. Uh, that would be a really neat feature to have on a Scout toy. Um, regardless, DeLazer Bendor is a decent little toy. Uh, he's very characterful. However, if you were to skip Scouts in this line, um, he is another one to skip. He's got a lot of niggling little problems. No major problems, but things that could irritate some people. And... If you don't like how he looks, he's not really going to do much to warm himself up to you. If you like how he looks, you're going to love him. If you don't, that's probably not going to change when you have him in hand. So, um, I would say that he's Vangelis recommended, but make sure you look at him before you buy him. And if you don't like him, you know, it's he's totally based on your taste and aesthetics. So, anyway, this has been Internet Personality Vangelis. This has been DeLazer Bendor Beak end laser tour end detour and uh i hope you enjoyed this review i've got one more stolen chinese scout to go and he's one that i really have a soft spot for so i uh, look forward to that and otherwise i'll see you cats later don't you recognize me dad don't you recognize me let me pack into your chest. I want to get inside you. I want to get back in the nice cozy tape deck womb from which I was born. Look, Dad. Look. I'm a cassette again. Now let me inside. I didn't mean to pull it open. I didn't mean to pull it open. I didn't mean to yank so hard. I thought you could take it, Dad. I forgot I grew up. Look at me, Dad. I'm a cassette again. I'm a cassette again.